Hello everybody, this is Hank. I'm back. Today I'm going to talk about KIN and IBIS system, which stands for In-Body Image Stabilization. Okay, uh, there's only a handful of uh, KIN and mirrorless that have this. Um, starting out with R6, Mark 1, Mark 2, R5, R3, and then uh, lately R7, and I believe R8 also has it. Okay, according to Ken and um, the documentation uh, available to me, uh, the IBIS system is identical for all of the uh, the Ken and mirrorless. So um, today I'm going to use the R6 Mark I, which is the only camera that I have that has the IBIS. But um, as I mentioned, it should be the same in performance for all of the uh, IBIS uh, Canon out there, okay? So the, the problem that I have is that the documentation says that, yeah, it, it gives you up to eight stops even if you don't have IS in some lenses, but it doesn't really tell you what lens. You know, there's no clear list of what is going to, to give you what. And that prompts me to, I'm going to do some unscientific tests uh, for the lenses that I have. Today I'm going to start with the, the most recently acquired lens that I have, the RF 85mm f 1.2L DS lens that I have. Okay, so we start out with that and uh, let's get into this. Okay, first of all, the IBIS system in Canon has is what they say that it is a five-axis um, image stabilization system. So it, um, it basically covers all of the m movement that you can subject the camera to, right? So you can pitch it up and down, you can roll it up and, uh, and right, you know, uh, which is the roll axis, and then you can yaw it is to twist it from side to side. It also uses the X and Y axis, which is basically strictly up and down and strictly sideways, left and right. Okay, so five axis of image stabilization is the most complicated one that, that you can do currently. Okay, uh, by the way, the image that I just got is from uh, the Canon website, so so I'm using it, um, and I, I'm making clear that that's not mine. Uh, neither is this uh, chart here. Also took it from the Canon website. Okay, so um, <clears throat> if, you, if you're wondering like, like I do, okay, so uh, if I have some EF lenses and some RF lenses like, uh, what the IBIS do or not do, okay? It's very confusing. There's never any clear explanation uh, of exactly what it's doing. So this comes the closest to what I think is pretty comprehensive, even though there's still a lot of uh, details missing. But anyway, uh, with the EF system or the RF system, Apparently, there are three types of image stabilization on the lens. Uh, the most obvious is without any image stabilization, right? And then you have the optical image stabilization, and then you have something called hybrid image stabilization, and that exists even for the EF and the RF equally. And in, uh, in pink or orange, it's hard to tell. Uh, when it is shaded like that, okay, it, it tells you that um, there's in-body IS, which is meaning that it used strictly just the IBIS part to do the correction. And then with, with some optical lenses, it will use optical in some axis and in-body image stabilization in some axis, and you, you can tell for yourself. Okay, in the hybrid, uh, uh, it does the same. So in some axes, it uses optical, and some it will use IBIS. 
Now the interesting part about the RF part is like under optical image stabilization lens and hybrid image stabilization lenses, um, it has a blue part, which means that it's at coordinated control. Okay, so basically what that's telling me is that it's using both optical image stabilization, which is in the lens, and the IBIS in the body. Okay, together. So I would guess that those are the cases when you have a lenses like that, you might be able to get eight, um, eight uh, stops of image stabilization. Even though in the same website that I got these out, okay, it mentioned that IBIS alone can give you eight stops, but it doesn't tell you what lens, and that's kind of prompted me to do this unscientific test that I'm doing for all of my lenses. Today I'm starting out with just one lens, RF 85 millimeter, f1.2. So, um, so let's see which lens does what, right? So um, here goes. Okay, so so what I did unsight scientifically is like I'm I'm hand holding and I'm taking pictures like three pictures in a row. I didn't use a high speed. I just go click click click, three shot. Okay, hand holding at different shutter speeds. Okay, so this is a 85 millimeter lens. So uh, when we use a try and true uh, guideline rule of thumb is that you use 1 over focal length. So it should be 1 over 85. In this case, I decided to use 1 80th of a second. So I can see that zero stop, meaning that, that I don't need any st image stabilization to get a clear picture. So I call that zero stop. I, I don't have any image stabilization. Okay, so when we say about the stop, we, we're talking about the stop for image stabilization. So... Um, so I took that as expected. Everything is clear. All three of them are sharp. Okay. Of course, I got IBIS turned on the whole time. Okay. So um, and then I decreased to one forty. Uh, same result. All three of them very sharp, very clear. And then uh, gradually get down to one twentieth, one tenth, one fifth of. Uh, a second. So that means four stops of image stabilization. And I still got all three pictures sharp, meaning that you can do four stops all day long with the IBIS on a non IS lens. Okay, so it's all IBIS. Now, on the fifth stop, I was able to get a sharp photo, but only one out of three. So the other two were slightly blurred, you can tell. If, if you look carefully, th the picture that I show you here is also slightly blurred, even though it's still very acceptable. So I, I would say like somewhere between four and five stops, depending on how, uh, how strong your hand holding is, right? I'm kind of considered an average person when it comes to hand holding. So, so I get about maybe four and a half stops max. Okay, uh, six stop, seven stop, all three of them are blurry mess. So basically, this is a, a data point for you, and um, would be the end of this short video. Uh, I would try to do all the other lenses that I have. I have a whole bunch of EF lenses and um, three or four IF lenses. I'm going to report for each of them. Okay, so uh, with that, I thank you very much. Um, I would appreciate a like and or a subscription from you. Thank you very much. Have a good day.